Um, you know, as somebody who is renting and has had uh, to rent, you know, pretty much all my life, um, you know, I've rented in Dublin and Galway. Um, I've had the challenges as well uh, as someone who's been a tenant, uh, particularly uh, in difficult times of having to move many, many times, having to find accommodation. And um, like I'm renting at the moment now uh, in Banlaslo. And I guess, you know, for me, uh, people have a choice, you know, people obviously, you know, want to have a home and, and invest long term and please God, that, that will happen for me too. But I do know that it is the availability that is the key here. It's uh, demand and supply. So availability of homes, of houses, of places where people can rent um, to, to manage the demand is crucial. Uh, where I'm in Banaslow, we have seen over 137 local authority houses uh, literally in our area this year alone. That's 137 families that are moving into new homes in Banlaslow uh, and literally around that area. Um, it's crucial that we see affordable housing now. We need to see affordable housing and I suppose where my issues would lie would be around the development of the county development plans and the local area plans for our towns to ensure that there is uh, allocation of land county council land for affordable housing. Um, the challenges that I see are particularly where we cannot access affordable, um, you know, or two or one and or two lands, but where affordable housing has been brought forward by our local authorities. We need to see supports for our local authorities to bring through options for affordable housing. Um, we have the housing assistance payment. I do know in Galway County Council and Roscommon County Council, we have seen a 20, 25% uh, increase, 20% increase nearly from 25,000 to 35,000 in terms of the you know, access, been able to apply for um, housing and also for um, the housing assistance payment. That HAP payment is crucial because so many people who are on 35,000 and under are you know, working, working in our town. Uh, but again, cannot find housing, housing and rental prices, but that housing assistance payment is crucial. And what the government did there in terms of rising the amount eligible for people to apply for local authority housing and for housing assistance payment, absolutely made a massive difference to people who are working in our town. Um, housing assistance payment is crucial, and what I want to see is more landlords been encouraged to take on housing assistance payment. Uh, working with our tenants to ensure that we have availability. But again, the challenge we have is that people who are on housing assistance payment moving into these new homes I've talked about, over 100 new homes in Banlaslow, um, those landlords are perhaps looking to sell their properties. And that's the issue we have. That's the issue I have. I don't want to see the stock of available rental houses and properties been reduced. So we need to support uh, the small landlords, we need to ensure that those properties remain available for rental. If we make it too difficult for a small landlord to have a house where they're renting it out, how and in what way does that, that support any of us in terms of getting availability for housing? We need different types of housing, a different available for everyone at all ages of life. We have a school in here with us today. You know, I, I'm sure going to college and after school or if you decide to go travelling, you will be renting, you know, at some point in your life you'll be renting before you have the opportunity to move into your own home. But we need to make sure that there's landlords available to do that. I mean, we were, we were with the USI only earlier today and they were talking about uh, digs and access to digs. I've lived in digs as well. But again, if we do not have the support around the rental room scheme, again, that was brought in by this government, you know, we wouldn't have people that are saying yes. We now know that I can give a room in my house, it's rental income that comes into me, and it doesn't impact on a lot of my social benefits. That is something that this government has done. Those are the supports we're putting in place to say to people, you have a spare room in your house, there is a college and a university down the road, or there's a hospital with nearly a thousand people working in it. Well, we will give you, we will say that yes, you decide to offer that room in your home, you will not lose any benefits that you're entitled to. So I think it's crucial to see the steps that the government has been putting in place to achieve, uh, I suppose, to achieve the, the supply that we need for people at all stages of life, at any choice of their accommodation, but that there is supply 
and not this issue that we have at demand. Uh, just very briefly, if I might just add, I suppose on the education side, and looking at it from, I've been a Shannon spokesperson on education and further in higher education, the apprenticeship programs around construction here are really crucial. Um, I, I know that this motion is looking at the rental sector, but I particularly want to highlight how do we ensure that we have the tradespeople that we have the tradespeople that are available to do all of this work, to build these homes, to build these houses, that we have the people who are excellent at woodwork and carpentry, that we have the electricians, that we have the plumbers. Um, I'm sure that young people here, you will have lots of choices uh, in how you decide what you'd like to do when you go to college. Some of you might decide that, yes, I want to you know, go ahead and I want to spend three years working in college. Or you might want to say, I want to earn and learn and have income coming to me while I'm working in a job and you decide and find out very quickly, is this the job for me? And like a lot of these trades, people will be their own boss. A lot of these trades, people will say, listen, I can start my own company, I can start my own business at the age of 25, 26, I can run the show here. And I've done that because I decided to take on doing an apprenticeship. Maybe it was to do a trade in construction. Maybe it's to do bioengineering. Maybe it's to go out and do accountancy or auctioneering. There are so many choices. But I guess, Minister, what I would like to hear is what other options are we doing to drive apprenticeships? Because we need an apprenticeship centre in the middle of Roscommon Town that we don't have at the moment.